these are the Wolf QI alarms, and I'm gonna break this video down into five sort of manageable sections so that I can give you guys an overview of key features. If I wanted to go into every single feature, this would probably be a 25 minute video and you would definitely get sick of listening to me. First up, let's talk about indication and why the Wolf QI alarms are a cut above the rest. Up until recently, most alarms relied either on a roller wheel sensor or a vibration sensor. The QIs combine the two and they are both incorporated into these alarms, giving you maximum indication at any given moment. Both the roller wheel and the vibration sensitivity can be set independently. So you really can tailor these alarms to any fishing situation that you may be in. When it comes to indication for audible tones, you've got one for a forward take, one for a drop back, and there's also a third tone, which is for the vibration. That way you know exactly what's going on in your swim before you even look at the receiver or the alarm head. You already have all the information you need. When it comes to the LEDs, again, you get different pieces of information dependent on whether it was a forward take or a drop back. If it was a forward take, you get a constant LED. If it was a drop back, you get a flashing LED. Again, if you've got everything on silent, you're trying to be a bit stealthy, it just really does give you all the information at a glance. When it comes to line movement, the sensitivity can be massively adjusted. On its maximum setting, you've got two millimeters worth of movement before you get an indication on the alarm head. If you've got it on its minimum sensitivity setting, you've got 100 millimeters of line. So you've got a massive area of scope there, so you really can tailor these to your fishing situation. And finally, when it comes to indication, the last key feature I want to mention is the recoil elimination. And what that does is measure the movement of the line. So if you get a couple of millimeters in one direction and then a couple of millimeters in another direction, it's not gonna create an indication because it could just be wind. That being said, if you get more than a couple of millimeters in one direction, you will instantly get an indication so that you know exactly what's going on. This feature has been put into the alarms to eliminate wind beeps. And obviously if there's a bit of tow or some waves on the water, it'll just stop you getting those false indications that could keep you up during the night. So next up, let's talk about the build of these alarms. The first thing you'll probably notice is that they're quite a large set of alarms. Now I have to agree with you, they are quite a large set of alarms, but I guess they kind of have to be because of all of the technology that's pumped into them. The plastic casing that these are made out of feels absolutely fantastic. They feel extremely hard wearing and heavy duty. You know, they feel like they're gonna last a lifetime, which actually leads me on to the next point warranty you get a three-year warranty as standard from the guys over at wolf if you register the alarms when they're new you get an extra year's warranty so that's a four-year warranty on a piece of electrical equipment that you leave out in the rain on a fairly regular basis now if that isn't confidence in your product i don't know what it is it almost goes without saying that these alarms are 100 percent weatherproof sealed i have no doubt in my mind that these will stand the test of time when it comes to the dials you've got the sensitivity the volume the tone and also the adjustment for the vibration sensing. All of the dials feel really nice and secure. They're quite tight on the alarm head, but I think that just stops you adjusting anything by accident. There's also two buttons on the side. We've got a mute button and you've got a menu button. And then there's two ports on the back. You've got a smart port and an IQ port. They're basically to link up with other accessories, but we'll talk about those later. One really important thing to mention is that these alarms are designed and built in the UK. That means if you have any problems whatsoever, you can deal with someone on home ground to make sure that you get a repair or replacement as quickly as you possibly can. Not only does it aid with that, but when it comes to quality control, each one of these alarms can be tested before it leaves the factory in the UK. Next up, let's talk about the customization of these alarm heads. Now, obviously you've got your standard bits and pieces like all alarms. So you've got your sensitivity, you've got your volume, you've got your tone, um, and then obviously you've got the vibration sensitivity, which is customizable. That's a little extra compared to most alarms. But also when it comes down to LEDs, you've got seven different choices for the main LEDs across the top. You've also got seven different choices for the night light. Both of these can be adjusted individually. So you can have different colors. If you want green main LEDs and then a blue night light, that's not a problem. You can just do that, follow the instructions. Speaking of instructions, there is also a downloadable manual that you can put onto your phone. So no matter where you are, you know exactly how to use these alarms. Once you've had them for a little while, obviously it becomes second nature. But after the initial purchase, sometimes things like this can be a little bit complicated. 
all of the LEDs on the alarm head are brightness adjustable. So at night time, you can have them toned right down so they don't dazzle you. In the daytime, you can have them nice and bright so that you can see exactly what's going on on the alarm head. That being said, there is an automatic mode because on the back of these, they've got a light sensor and the alarms will automatically adjust the brightness of the LEDs to the environment. There are two slots in the front of the alarms for beta lights. Wolf do a whole host of different colours isotopes to go in those. So yeah, pop onto their website and have a little look at them as well. As I mentioned earlier, you've got the smart port and the IQ port on the base of these alarms. That enables you to use things like illuminated bobbins. Wolf International do make their own ones. However, you can also use some third party ones. Also, there's two receivers for you guys to choose from the QR and the hub. Both the receivers are offered at different price points and obviously incorporate different features. We're gonna be doing separate videos on those, so keep an eye out for them. And finally, an accessory that's actually included within the purchase. Wolf put these hard cases in the packet for you so that you can just clip them on. It just aids with transportation. Make sure you're not gonna damage the face of that alarm and not adjust any of the settings by accident. One thing these cases also do is they actually turn the alarm on and off. So you haven't got to worry about doing that at the end of the session. Just literally slip the cases on, chuck them in your bag, and then get them out next time. Now, last but not least, you guys are probably thinking, so how much do all of these premium features cost me? At the moment, I've seen them online, um, three in a receiver for $5.69. Now, that is a lot of money, admittedly. But that being said, these are a premium product designed and manufactured in the UK and they've quite possibly got the best build on a set of alarms that I've actually had in my hands. If you're the type of person that buys a piece of equipment and wants it to last, then these are definitely a step in the right direction. Now obviously there are cheaper alarms on the market and there are also more expensive alarms on the market. But I think when it comes to value for money for a premium product, these Wolf QIs are right up there. Please like this video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and make sure you hit that bell notification icon. That way you won't miss out any of the latest content from Carpology. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you very much.